everybody, it's Zion Sully here, and today is an exciting day for me because today Disney Infinity 3.0 launched, and as a huge Star Wars fan and I'm a fan of Disney Infinity, it is a day that I am excited for. Instantly, I wanted to pick up several of the figures, and in front of you, you see the four. Star Wars Rebels figures. Each one was an exclusive to a different store, but that will be changing, I believe, in late September. They'll be available everywhere. But instead, I went around all over the place to four different stores to get them all. I believe we did Walmart, Toys R Us, Target, and GameStop to make sure that we had all of them. And this video is going to be an unboxing of the entire Rebels set. So let's go ahead and dive in so that we're not just staring at them. Let's go ahead and get a close uh, kind of each figure. Zeb with his huge box in comparison. There is a comparison of normal versus. Zeb, and as you have it, 3.0. So, let's go ahead and do these one at a time, and crack them open, and then begin the process of leveling and playing. We will start with Kanan Jarrus. Hopefully the glare is not too bad. You can see 3.0, his picture, there he is in the box with his name, barcode on the bottom. Spin it around, and on the back we have that he's not compatible on 1.0 and 2.0, is compatible on 3.0, and is good to go in the toy box. Kanan Jars, rebel leader who is skilled with both lightsaber and blaster combat. All right. Play now in Toy Box 3.0, and then bonus unlockable in all Star Wars play sets. And that is one of the new things is that you can play them in each of the play sets. There'll be a coin in each play set for all the characters, regardless of timeline and inconsistencies there, which is pretty cool. All right, so the box is open. Slide this out. See what all comes in a 3.0, probably the same as always. You have your character card to unlock them online with a code on the back and your typical legal mumbo jumbo. But let's get to what you're probably most excited for and what I am. We have Kanan. And so let's go ahead and get nice and close to him. You can see that as always they are very well sculpted. He has his little goatee, his ponytail on the back. Kind of ready in a de defensive stance of bring it on. He has his blue saber and who's not excited to get to be playing several lightsabers in the game. Go ahead and zoom back out. Get a view of his boots. His blaster is at ready on the side there. He has a shoulder pad with what looks like a rough version of the Rebel Insignia. And a number three. I've seen all of season one, but none of the 40 minute thing that I believe is the start of season two or any of season two if it's out yet. And I don't recall if this had any importance then. But yeah. So there is Kanan, and we'll go ahead and set him back here, ready to go. And I guess we'll go next with his um, Padawan Ezra Bridger. And you see, there he is in the box, 3.0 in the box, same as the other, so we'll just spin around and get to the part that's different. Street smart and force sensitive, Ezra uses his lightsaber to fight for what he believes is right. So, there you have it, 3.0, the bonus, figures down there. Let's go ahead and crack into this box. Alright, and 
and just like Kanan was, we have the card to unlock him online and the code for that. All right. So let's get this box out of the way. And let's get the figure. All right. So we have Ezra. And let's go ahead and get a close up view. There he is. Ready to go. And back again. Zoom back out a little. And if you watch the show at all, you'll know that his saber is actually also a blaster. Very unique. Haven't seen anyone else in Star Wars that has that. He has his flowing hair, a grimace on his face, his insignia on his back, the little thing on the side there, boots and shoulder guards, everything whoop, showing that he's ready. And so that is Ezra. And let's go ahead and let him join Kanan over here. And we'll go ahead and just do a quick little zoom in of the two of them so you can kind of compare their sabers and stances. And all right. Well, let's dive back into the next one, which is going to be Sabine Wren. This was the Target exclusive. And there she is on the box. There she is in the box and she has a cool part down there so I'll be sure to show that spin it around 3.0 and Sabine Mandalorian rebel with twin blasters and a talent for sabotaging the galactic empire I'm sure a lot of people will be excited to play as her since she is a Mandalorian they tend to get pretty good hype inside the Star Wars universe and lore but so there you have it. That's her in her box. And let's go ahead and crack into this one. That one opened much easier than others. Move the box out of the way. Same as always. Legal stuff. Card. With the code on the back. And she doesn't have a saber. But that doesn't mean that she's not pretty cool. So here we are, and there she is, Saving Rin. The helmet down here, let's go ahead and give her the zoom in specialty. She has a very kind of cocky look going, like she's up to something, definitely doing some graffiti. You can see she's got like the modified colored armor that's pretty common for Mandalorians. And I don't know if that's graffiti or a blaster that she's holding. Looks like she's got a holster there and a holster there. So maybe it. And let's not forget that she has the Stormtrooper helmet with the Rebel insignia under her foot. I think that is probably the coolest part of this piece. I'm a huge fan of that. thought it was really neat. Makes me kind of wish there was a Stormtrooper coming as a figure but I figure it'll just be something you kill in the toy box but so there you have it there is Sabine and as she joins we'll go ahead and do one more zoom in of these three now I'll have a little bit of attitude which is something I think the show kind of does and then my favorite character from Star Wars Rebels is Zeb Aurelis. Here he is with his little grimace. Box right there. We'll spin it around. Check out the back. 3.0 again. And Zeb Aurelis. Rebel Brawl brawler with a bow rifle for blasting Imperial forces. If you want a little backstory of Zeb, as I love him, he um, is from a species I can't think of. The Empire wiped out almost all of them, leaving only a few, if not only just him, and only certain ones were allowed to use the bow staff that you see there in the back, and so he has a huge grudge against the Empire for attacking his home world and killing his people. So we'll dive in. We'll pull this out. Leave him there for now. 
show you that it also has the online code. The legal mumbo jumbo. Get the box out of the way. And if you remember, don't forget, his box was huge because he is a big character in a big stance. All right. So here we have Zeb in his very broad stance. And like the others, let's zoom in on Zeb. He very much is saying, come at me. Kind of like he dares you with his weapon ready. His belt, his armor, his massive bow staff that we can't see unless we zoom out some. Very unique character, very large. A uh, lot of attitude in this one. And even his base is so big. Like the part down here in comparison to the others is like two pieces of that metal. And the others only have one. But yeah, so that is Zeb. Do we place him over here? Let's come at me, bro. And then let's take one final look at all of them. We have Kanan, Ezra, Sabine, and Zeb. All of them ready to go. And this is the unboxing for the Star Wars Rebel figures in Disney Infinity. 3.0. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment, click like, or subscribe. Let me know who your favorite figures are and which ones you hope to pick up. And be sure to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.